So yeah, we had a wild weekend here. Tornado watches and warnings and big thunderstorms and lots of rain and fun and exciting. Welcome to the South. Although the weather is really not very different from what we had in New York or in New Jersey. It's just a little bit warmer, uh, which is nice. Uh, it's supposed to be really cold though. Go down to 30 degrees Friday and Saturday morning. And of course we moved the new little baby chicks out to the barn. They have a light in the coop, but a little concerned. So we're going to wrap their pen in Oh, they may have to come home for the weekend, but they're a little big for their little tub in the bathroom these days. So, uh, I wanted to uh, quickly give you a heads up. We have partnered with um, Hemopet, uh, which is Dr. Gene Dodd's lab. Uh, they make the NutriScan allergy testing for food allergies, and also with Animal Biome, who uh, makes the um, fecal transplant capsules and fecal testing uh, to find out what your dog's uh, microbiome looks like to see uh, how out of whack and out of balance it is so that uh, we can help with IBD and allergies. They've graciously, ex both of them have graciously extended discounts uh, when you order through our website and I posted links to both of them in the comments this morning. So the NutriScan testing is a saliva test and I've uh, treated a lot of patients uh, with both of these tests, but the, the uh, NutriScan test something you can do yourself and send in, I think they give you a rope or something for them to chew on that's supposed to get the saliva in it. Um, and it takes a couple of weeks, but you get a test back that is basically measuring uh, two different kinds of antibodies <clears throat> in the saliva to different foods. And it tests for a lot of different foods. And the answer you'll get back for each one of the foods, so it includes meat proteins, grains, a lot of this potatoes, legumes, a lot of different things in there. And so the answer you get back they either have a negative reaction, a weak, a moderate, or a strong reaction, and then they tell you which things would be safe to feed or should be safe to feed for your pet that they won't, will not react to, and which things have a high probability of them having reactions to. So if you, um, can you send from the UK for tests? I don't see why not, because it's just a test kit and then you would have to send it back uh, to the US. Um, but I don't see any reason why they couldn't be sent. Um, so the, for those of you who are concerned that maybe your pet has food allergies, this is kind of a way to shortcut rather than doing the, uh, okay, we'll try this one protein and see if they react. All right. We've gone a couple of weeks with that. Now we'll try the next protein or the next, um, starch or whatever it is that you're adding. Uh, it's just a way to shortcut things and get sort of a quicker answer. Otherwise you could spend the entire year trying out different things to see what your pet is, um, potentially reacting to. So uh, that's the NutriScan testing. And then the second thing is the animal biome, which is the fecal testing. And literally you just send in poop. So that's easy enough for anybody to do. We all have plenty of that. Uh, and they test and they look at all the different bacteria. Uh, I think they do it from a DNA standpoint, but um, they, they look at all the different bacteria and they compare what is in your pet's gut to what would be considered a normal healthy gut. And then they give you suggestions for how to repair it. One, you can do the fecal transplant capsules. Uh, and second, and this is for, would be useful for um, inflammatory bowel disease, but also for allergies. Because if you remember, about 80% of our immune system is in our gut. And if we don't have a healthy microbiome, we can have behavior problems. We can have um, vomiting and diarrhea problems. We can have itchy allergy problems. So a lot of stuff revolves around that uh, imbalance in the gut. Um, and then they give you ideas on how to fix it. Either you need more protein in the diet or you need more variation in the diet or you need more fiber in the diet uh, or you need a fecal transplant because things are really out of whack or you need specific probiotics, that sort of thing. So uh, really, really helpful. Again, these are ways to kind of shortcut um, some of the problems and these those are probably the two most common things i get asked uh you know or that people have concerns about allergies and ibd 
that seems to be, I mean, cancer is way up there too, but allergies and IBD, those are the biggest, biggest, biggest problems that we have with our pets, dogs and cats. Um, and, uh, it, it's frustrating for pet owners. So these are ways that uh, we can kind of shortcut things a little bit. And I have to I have to show off. I got my, my new award. came in the mail. This is my Empowered Woman Award. That is the coolest thing I've ever gotten. I just like it with this little globe on top. <laughs> Shows fingerprints up. So that's kind of fun. Um, all my other ones are packed away somewhere. Anyway, uh, so you can look those up. There's information about them on the website, and uh, then you can go to their websites and uh, get more information on them if you want. Uh, but they were nice enough to extend a discount uh, for our followers. So, okay. <laughs> Everybody have a wonderful day. It's Monday. Lots and lots and lots of work to do, as usual. Animal biome customer service is excellent. That's a great asset. Highly recommended. Yeah. Yeah. Helps Olivia a lot with her C. diff. It, that, that was huge for her. So, okay. Keep that award away from the cats. I know I'm in the cat room. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Everybody have a wonderful day. Um, we got lots of work to do. Hugh's meeting the builder out at the house. Mom's going to the office to uh, help babysit the, the munchkin. <laughs> She's getting very opinionated about what she likes and doesn't like. She only wants to sleep on her big mattress. She only, so she doesn't like to nap anywhere else. She's decided she won't take bottles and she doesn't like being fed real food. She would rather just hang with mom all the time. <laughs> Poor Gwen. <laughs> uh, how long would the discount last? Probably a while. They haven't given us a timeline. So, I'll see if Gwen has an idea on that, but they haven't given us a timeline. So, yeah, it's amazing. We reach out to people and say, hey, and they're nice. Maybe they like us. I don't know. <laughs> Have a great day, guys.